the Iowa State Fairgrounds may be accessed by the average fairgoer from three directions. That is, Grand Avenue from the west, Dean Avenue from the south, and University Avenue from the north. But there is another lesser known indirect entrance to the Iowa State Fair. And those who enter from the east come from a different land entirely. Well, I camp at the fair because I like it. And it's fun. And I've done it for years. First started camping in 1951, and I don't think I've missed a year. I've had people say to me, what do you do at the fair every day? They think they can see it all in one day. Well, I said, there's something different every day. And this fair is one of the best fairs. Iowa State Fair can't be beat. I went to the Tampa State Fair, and it was fun, but you got to like strawberry shortcake, because that's about all I saw. <laughs> that's not nice. I've been working at the campground for about five years. Maybe longer. Been about 10. Ah, uh, yes. I've been working about 10 years. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Can you edit that? <laughs> Get up and have coffee and uh, visit with the neighbors. Oh, thank you, bud. We'll head down for the fair, come back up for lunch. Uh, might work a little nap in, you know. <laughs> and uh, then uh, usually I'll go to work in the evenings and the family will go back down to the fair. Thank you. You bet. There's 2,500 campers, about 10,000 people that come to the campgrounds every year. It's like your own little town. It's called the State Fair Grocery. 1971, my dad built it. Thank you so much. Thank you. My mom and dad had a National Campers and Hikers Convention out here, and he opened the store for that, for that event, and then uh, uh, we met. In the store? Yes, right here. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. So some people come here for milk. <laughs> he came here for a wife, right? <laughs> well, we ran around other places than the store, I suppose, for a while. But yeah, eventually we, we was married. They forget everything. You have to have a little bit of everything for them. Well, the other day I didn't have any toothpaste, so I had to go and buy toothpaste. <laughs> Pretty handy. You can see some modern engineering <laughs> marvels if you drive around the <laughs> campground. Because of the demand for camping spaces, it's hard to get in, and if you do, you're really, really lucky. Everybody keeps them year after year and hands down to their families. Probably nine out of 10 campers you talk to have the best spot on the campground. And you might ask someone in a totally different area and they have the best spot at Which the campground. Which can be true. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> After work, we all get together in the campground and uh, kind of debrief each other on the day's activities. And uh, depending on uh, who's around in the neighborhood, we may be up till 10, 11 o'clock at night, you know. <laughs> we got a cousin up here too now, great big one. He comes in and he loves it. He's the policeman over in Clyde. Oh, he loves the fair now. We've got him educated. <laughs> He's on our side. <laughs> You just meet lots of people, you see lots of people, and we're people people. <laughs> 